On Saturday night, November 19th, the highly anticipated showdown between WBA, IBF, and IBO World Light Heavyweight Champion Sergey the Crusher Kovalov and Andre SOG Ward will take place and it will be televised on HBO pay-per-view. The purpose of these videos will be to determine if these quote-unquote super fights are really that or just media hype bouts. Are they worth your time? Are they worth your hard-earned money? This video is about Sergey Kovalev and his last five fights. Has he had a hard road competitively to get to Andre Ward or has he had a lot of soft touches to help build their upcoming bout? First, we'll go back to November 8th, 2014. Sergey Kovalev was just starting to pop on American boxing fans radar when he fought Bernard the Executioner Hopkins. Many thought going into this bout, Hopkins, even though he was in the twilight of his career, would be too much for puncher Kovalev. It ended up to be the other way around. Kovalev was faster than Bernard Hopkins in this bout and won a unanimous decision at the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. On March 14th of the next year, 2015, Sergey Kovalev fought a young, fast, big, light heavyweight in Jean Pascal in Pascal's home country of Canada at the Bell Center in Montreal. The fight did not go the distance as Jean Pascal was stopped one minute and three seconds into the eighth round. Kovalev, I believe at this time, was renegotiating with HBO and instead of staying inactive, fought, fought a stay busy fight on July 25th, 2015 against Nadib Mohamed and Kovalev dispatched of him early and stopped him in the third round. Mohamed had not fought and had not beaten anyone with notable boxing credential up until that fight and he still has not had a win since that Kovalev fight. Mohamed did have a heavy padded record and Sergey Kovalev gained nothing from this bout. In January of this year, Sergey Kovalev once again stepped into the ring against Jean Pascal, a man who one year earlier he had stopped in the ring. No rematch was needed because the fight was a blowout. But once again, these two fighters met to the dismay of boxing fans and the fight was once again stopped. This time one round earlier than their previous bout, the match ended in the seventh round with Sergey Kovalev coming out on top. On July 11th of this year, Sergey Kovalev returned to Russia to defend his three light heavyweight titles, this time against Isaac Chilemba. The only thing I remember prior to this bout was people still trying to hype up the fight by saying Chilemba was ranked by one of the sanctioning bodies. The same sanctioning bodies people tear down and call crooked when it suits them. Kovalev coming off a six month layoff looked a little bit rusty against Chilemba who had lost two of his last five fights. This time there was no KO, but rather unanimous decision victory for Sergey Kovalev. Sergey the Crusher Kovalev is one of the hardest hitting fighters currently active in the sport of boxing. With Sergey Kovalev's ability in the ring, he has not faced the best opponents out there. He has only fought the opponents willing to face him. You can make the argument that he's been everyone from Gabriel Campillo to Nathan Cleverly to Jean Pascal to Bernard Hopkins. But once again, what has he taken from these fights? Two of them were tune-up fights and twice he fought the same guy with the same results. But how have they prepared him for an Andre Ward fight? The only name on his resume that you can compare Andre Ward to is Bernard Hopkins. Bernard was beaten soundly by Kovalev, but he was at the end of his career and still cannot get knocked out by Sergey Kovalev. And yes, Bernard Hopkins did take some monstrous shots from the crusher, but he remained on his feet. Also, Andre Ward has not faced any dangerous competition either. If you would like for me to make a battle rating video for Andre Ward, let me know in the comments section below. Due to the lack of competition in the division that Kovalev is currently in, I give him a battle rating of only three heading into the fight versus Andre Ward. I don't believe that this is a super fight. I believe that us as boxing fans should expect these type of fights happen often. 
the Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalov fight is being hyped up as it should be, but only because in boxing nowadays, we don't see the best fight the best. This year, we've seen lighter weight division fighters move up in weight to avoid Guillermo Rigondeaux. We've seen Saul Alvarez fight lighter division men for his title and knock them out. And we will soon see Gennady Golovkin fight a guy who's two weight divisions under him and more than likely stop him early in their fight. Yes, Sergey Kovalev versus Andre Ward will be a great fight to see, but I don't expect it to be the super fight or great event that most boxing fans expect it to be. I believe this will be a hold and hit fest like Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. Is this fight worth your time? Hell yes it is. Is it worth your money pay-per-view wise? I would rather pitch in at a friend's house to see this fight on pay-per-view or pay 20 bucks to go see it at Dave & Buster's or Buffalo Wild Wings. Again, Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev goes down November 19th on HBO pay-per-view.